How will you fare in the world of caves and creatures? Hugh, man's angel of virtue. Leader of the humans. She was the one who watched over them and helped them through their fledgling stages. But it appears that Dramar's influence reached even her domain. Hugh is a deity, but her powers lie more in supporting her race rather than within herself. The human deck is primarily based around Hugh's rapid reproduction, which allows her to draw a card every time a friendly human dies. Once each turn, this means the humans are intrinsically very swarmy, and they are very cheap to accommodate this. Hugh has watched over mankind for a very, very long time, even as far back as the cave people. Caveman and Cavewoman are a couple of the very few cards in the game that are duplicated, and with very good reason. Caveman is simply a very good creature for its cost, and Cave Woman is one of the most important aspects of the human deck, allowing you to get back previously slain creatures. Combined with Hugh's ability, Cave Woman going down can be actively helpful to Hugh. Humans and their shrines, and their hexes and enchantments, are typically very simple intrinsically. However, the depth from humans comes from the sheer number of them you can have on the board, and how they interact with Hugh. The human's unique creature is Almighty Oaf Oogla, and Oogla is very powerful. Whilst the human creatures are weak, their numbers make up for this, and the likes of Oogla and the hexes and enchantments can make up for their weak spots. Human's general winning strategy is rather simple. Swarm the board, utilize the human race in order to not deck out, and completely overwhelm your opponent with numbers. Hold territory with ease. Utilize Oogla to neutralize opposing powerful targets, and use Hugh's ability to completely overwhelm your opponent. Humans are extraordinarily powerful, and their late game is not to be trifled with. But such power does come with a couple of caveats. Hugh's stats, aside from her incredible movement, are not very high. She has very low attack, with the advantage of ignoring armor, but her health is so incredibly low, and the humans don't have that kind of mana to spare for her going down. Additionally, her ability only works once per turn, in either player's turn. This means if you can kill three humans in one move, Hugh will only gain one card back, and humans are completely balanced around their ability to gain more cards. General strategy approaching humans is to avoid killing them one at a time, and instead try to get rid of clusters at once, and leave them hamstringed and completely laid out to dry. Hugh wants nothing more than to protect her race. Will you aid this angel in her quest to save her own race? Or will you damn humanity and aid another race? What will be your decision upon entering the world of caves and creatures?